everybody. Welcome to Little Nightmares. Uh, I need just a second because the game doesn't seem to want to cooperate with my controller. It's letting me do mouse and keyboard, but it's not letting me. It's letting me do. Yeah, it's letting me do mouse and keyboard, but not my controller. So I'm gonna see if I can get that working. But how are y'all doing? Happy Halloween month. Happy Halloween month. Yes, it gets a whole month. So I'm hopefully, what are you doing with this? Hopefully I'm going to be able to get this working with controller, but one way or another we are going to play Little Nightmares. God, it even says A for select, as if it's mocking me. I'm going to try restarting the controller. So, I don't really know much about Little Nightmares. It seems like a neat game. Uh, I think it's horror related, and I don't remember how I got it. It just sort of is there. I just searched the horror tag in my Steam library. And it just happened to be one of the games. It just exists. It's just there. I didn't, to my knowledge, I didn't purchase it. And yet, holy crap, it also doesn't like my controller at all, which is sad, because I like it. I like my controller. <laughs> I want to play it with my controller. I'm going to try one more time, and if this doesn't work, I'll just use mouse and keyboard, but I'm going to be grumpy about it. So yeah, a spooky game found its way into my inventory without me having any idea how the fuck. So that sounds like a really good uh, game for Spooky Saturday. I wish it would work with my fucking controller. I truly do. I truly do. Maybe if I do this. Eh, maybe. I don't think there's any reason that would work, but maybe. No. Wonderful. Great. One second. How's that? Okay, so. So, with that out of the way, that bit of professionality out of the way, uh, I think we're just gonna get into it. Like I said, I, I know little to nothing. I think I've seen a little bit of gameplay, but I've mostly avoided uh, Let's Plays and stuff because it looked like maybe this is the kind of thing I would stream down the line. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly don't remember how I got it. Maybe it was free one day or something like that. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it though. Okay. I think this lighting works. The, my webcam light is a little brighter, but I don't have the lights on in my room, so it just doesn't like there's not a beacon of light down in the bottom corner. Let's 
could do a quick search to see if there's a way to get the controller working and then we'll go. Apparently there's... Apparently the sequel is already out, jeez. I didn't even know Little Nightmares was getting a sequel, a sequel, but apparently it's already out. Okay, well, apparently the other people have had the problem, but nobody knows how to fix it. Thank you. I don't know what made you think I was going to get that on my own. <laughs> like, if it was a controller, maybe, but it's like, I'm, I'm pressing E, I'm pressing Q, I'm clicking, like, what am I supposed to click? this time just fucking this game is gonna drive me crazy you can't jump into it you have, you have to click of course that would be what you have to do I can't this game seriously man I'm not trying to make to make a joke out of it I'm trying to really get into the mood this shit is not me that that is the game I tried to climb in there and then that happened 
I don't know what the fuck, but that was not me. Audio might be a little bad. Is it better now? Can you guys hear me okay? It's hard finding the right level for it. Assuming I'm gonna need to hide under that at some point. I need help to get up there, don't I? Maybe I could climb on the doll. Well, I think the doll's too heavy for me to get it up there. I'm supposed to grab this thing? Looks. Oh, it's a cigarette tray. So do I just... Because I was trying to... I'm a little scared of using the controls now because of how they were working before, but I can try again. Okay, yeah, you can jump and grab. Can I not read the letter? that long to see a pair of legs. We're just going to move on from this room. Oh, I need to use the chair, don't I? said I don't know anything about this so it, it's the sort of thing where like if anything 
is gonna happen. I can't really warn you guys. So I, I hope it'll be a fun time, but do keep that in mind. I, I don't know what sort of subjects the game's gonna touch, like when we're playing in Sound Mind. I didn't think that stuff was gonna happen. Um, I, guess, I guess I'm essentially saying viewer discretion is, is advised. I don't know, man. I don't know what we're gonna get into or what each person is comfortable with. I saw that little critter run. Are those shoes or is that like a guy? Those are shoes. Oh. I let go for just a second. Please don't fall. look up as well that's like check your corners and look up there's some dumb shit right above you you should know also look down i almost walked onto one that was on the ground be aware of all sides Stronger than I thought. It looks like this. Oh my god, that was the spawn point. Of course that was a, a good old checkpoint. Of course, of course. Is this did I just get soft locked? What the heck? prefer it with controller, but you make do.
about that doesn't sit right with me. open it up all the way, I think. Shades, what's up? Thank you for that refall. Actually, that does remind me. I should probably, for the because I don't have any alerts that would fit this game, I should probably turn off the alerts for now. Uh, this is one. I wasn't even aware that there was a sequel until I started playing. I know basically nothing about the game. to grab that. I never clicked or anything. Didn't think they would just do that out of nowhere. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I'm, I'm hoping it's fun to watch, but like, how I like doing these games is just going in blind and seeing what I do. I guess I could... Am I going to try to squeeze through the bars, maybe? Yes. That gives me a lot more time than I need, though. That's scary. Something I need to do in here before there's light. stuck on. Bunch of eye blocks. I'm a cigarette too. Right? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. at all. Well, nice then. In a 
way it'll be like a new experience. Oh my god. I got a little valley girl there, didn't I? Oh my god. Bro. I'm gonna need you to stop that. I'm gonna need you to just do it. Keyboard does not give me smooth enough movement for this to be easy. So just fucking do it, please. You, you, you suck. I dislike you intensely. Can I just like do it from here? I just, for God's sakes, when the puzzle isn't hard to figure it out, but it is hard because the controls are just fucking great. Just really good controls that I love and I want to keep playing with. That's my favorite type of puzzle. The why am I playing this puzzle? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm happy that I'm playing the game. Holy crap. You need to make it so that controllers work more consistently if the keyboard and mouse is this terrible. Is that anything heavier? I don't know, but I know that one plus one plus one equals good. Plus one equals one on the bun. In case I need to access it later. Block? Just. Thank you. Crate, which crate? Jump! Jump and press it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I guess fuck me then. Right. Okay. What the fuck is my objective here? What is my objective? What do I do? I'm not actually. Oh, I did not mean to kill the train. May I reassemble it, please? May I reassemble it, please? I, I hate this child. I intensely hate this child. Just, just clean up your mess and put the train on the track. Fuck you, then. Holy crap. Theme and style, I'm really liking. Controls, what were you thinking? What were you thinking on these controls? What were you thinking? Were you thinking? Did thoughts enter your brain during that part of the creation of this game? Did you think about the controls at all? I don't think you did. I don't think you did. I don't believe you. The one you used to flip over. Oh, right. That was because I had to. If you have to make a lot of noise, that it implies that you are about to alert someone or something. But if it's optional, then it just means that I'm an asshole and it doesn't mean that anything is necessarily coming to kill me. That's how that works. Sometimes. Was I just supposed to pull this crate? No, I can't pull that crate. It is too heavy. Can I pick up this doll? No, I can't, because that would require cooperation from the child. Why would the child ever do that? What the fuck do you want me to do, sir? Maybe I have to j no. I'm 
gonna see if there's anything I need to do in in each room. In this room, there's an eye, and there's a lot of eyes on the blocks, but... What, you just want one of these blocks? I can confirm that if you pick a block up and throw it at the wall, that does not cause you to win the game. So we're going to have to think of something else. Okay. I thought that was one big drawer that, where the two were connected to each other. I was wrong. Can I do anything else from that point? No. It, it, there was no point to it? Wonderful. I'm really glad about that. I'm really just ecstatic about that. I'm going to try throwing something onto here so that I can climb onto that. You weak piece of shit. Okay. Now I shut the door. So that's good. I shut the door. That's my favorite thing to do. Don't you know? That is the area that we you can use to go back to the previous room. Right now I'm just seeing if there's any objectives in here, and then I'm going to go there to see if there's any objectives in there. Is it haunted or is it glitching? You decide. No, it's haunted. Okay, that's good. It's haunted. I thought it was. I straight up thought I was Gary's mod physicsing my character against the block, against the spinny thing, causing it to just glitch out and spin. But no, it's just haunted. Can I step off of it? Thank you. Does it keep going forever? That's good. That's comforting. What? What? Do I climb up this? Do I climb up this thing that I can obviously climb up? What the fuck do you mean I can't climb up? How, how is that not a thing that you can put? This is getting a sequel. <laughs> this game got a sequel. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I'm getting a little salty. I don't dislike the game, but it is making me genuinely salty. I, I guess I'll go to the previous room. Do not, 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 do not. Could I maybe just like, no that's bolted on. Now we're over here. I can get toilet paper, I guess. I don't think I have any need. But it is a thing I could pick up if I chose. Um, do I just need to run through really quickly? Maybe I just need to run through really quickly. That didn't turn off the power. Why didn't that turn off the power? spent a lot of time in those rooms, given that absolutely nothing was of any importance. I'm not, I'm not getting salty at all. I don't know what I was talking about before. Um, I'm, I'm just, things are good. Well, this door seems to stand out. May I knock? I may not. Maybe I need to take a block and throw it into the door to make a knocking sound. No. Okay. Maybe.
maybe nothing matters, and maybe that's what the game is teaching me, that I should just move on and not expect every little thing to mean something. There's some dolls there that aren't moving. Those are just ash, aren't they? I'm wondering, like, can I be in the light if I don't move at all? But I'm gonna assume, no, I will perish if I try to do that. Okay, yeah, if it's possible to get past without being seen, then that's definitely what you need to do. some neat puzzles here. No, we're not going up there yet. No, because I want to check out this. I want to check out what this shit is, my dude. What's over here? Hello? follows me now. I'm not sure if I want that. <laughs> so that's neat. I guess I like, because there were some doors that I opened that caused it to come out, so I guess I like found every door in every area, so I helped this guy out. I can pick them up too. Do I need to help you? Are you my new little buddy? Excuse me, excuse me, pal. Excuse me, excuse me, pal. I gotta. No, I don't. I don't want to climb. I want to push. I want to push. I want to. I want to push. Can you help me push? Good. I'm glad that you're very useful. I'm glad that you stand there and watch me do things, and don't contribute to society. I'm glad about these things. I'm very glad. It's what I want. Can I like, can I like tell you, hey push, hey push thing, push thing with me, P push, 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 no, no, you are truly without use. Can I just leave? I could just leave. That doesn't feel good. Do I have to just, I guess I just have to leave. I, that, that doesn't feel right. But it does sort of feel like the game is trying to tell me like, hey, what you necessary like what you intuitively think based on other games is not necessarily what the answer is like it feels like it's saying sometimes a room is just a room sometimes there isn't a boss key in a room sometimes it's just part of a building so maybe i just sometimes a little lad is just a little lad and there's nothing for you to do Feel good.
if the little lad wants the doll. I have to check. Oh my god, leave, 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 leave. Immediately that noise told me, no, this is not, in fact, the spot that you are going to want to be in, Ferris. Not this spot. No, no. I'm going to see if this lad would like a dog. I don't... I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work, but I want to check. No, no, no. You cannot tell me that yet. It's like, you can't tell me that's too low. Well, I broke the doll. That makes me think I was supposed to break the other doll. That makes me want to go back. back. I just want to go check out that doll and break it. Cause it just, I don't, I guess it's just the vibe of the game. It just makes me feel like in some way or another, you're going to like help people or something like that. Like the dolls have a spirit in them or, or something. It just feels like they're like, this is the sort of game. Oh, I'm trapped. Aren't I? Well, never mind. Uh, but it just feels like you're going to have opportunities to help people. And it's weird, because like, I wanted to help the little guy over there, but I don't know if he... I don't actually know if he needs help, or how to help him. It does feel like the game might just be trying to teach me that there's not really significance to every little thing. I don't know. Horror games like doing puzzles. But they might be trying to... We're just not going to talk about that one. Hey, Ninja. What's up, man? Uh, good. It's a little ups and downs because the controls are a little funky, but it seems like a cool game so far. I was saying earlier, I don't even remember how I got this. I think it was free at, at one point months ago or something like that. It just, like appeared in my inventory so I was looking like what should we play for today what sort of horror game would be good and I just saw it already installed but I didn't remember installing it so that gave a bit of extra spooky val value that I felt like made it perfect a horror game and I don't even recall what I should probably focus on the game what was that? You're hungry? You're hungry, I guess. Let's eat something. 
That's a, that's a cafeteria, right? Look, chill, man. You'll get some food if you keep moving, but if you collapse, you're not gonna get any food. Oh my dear God, I get it. I get it, I get it. Hey buddy, got some food for me? Got some yums? You're gonna be a dickhead, aren't you? Oh no, you're gonna throw it to me, oh thank you. I thought you were gonna, you're gonna throw it on the ground. Thank you, very nice of you. You're gonna disappear, aren't you? Thank you. I don't really know how to thank you though. Yeah, like I, I googled the game to see if I could figure out a way to change the controls, and that was me finding out that the game has a sequel. I've heard of it, but I, I haven't heard of the second one until now. Oh boy. Do I need to shower? Got some food so now you get clean. Deep. Let's uh, let's do our best to not streamer curse ourselves, and let's not fall in there today. That's no grab this one. not fall down because I don't know if I can open that again without it breaking and there are some things in life you don't want to find out you just want to get through life without knowing what the answer to that question is you know what I mean I don't know what the answer is and I'm fine with that Oop. if that that is the kind of thing where that wasn't especially scary to do. If it, this was real life, holy crap, if this was real life, that jump might have been the end of the game for me. Because I might have just stayed right there on that platform. Um, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna guess. I was not going to say that I was going to guess that that was high enough to kill me. I was not going to say that part. Can I leave another question? The question was... the When I was climbing up on the bars on the left... And I don't actually want an answer. But when, I'm, when I was climbing up the bars on the left... And it made a lot of noise... Were those bars that would fall if I were to climb up twice? I'd rather not know, though. That's pretty deep. And our character has shown that they can't fall that far. Which is understandable. They are very small. That being the one I was talking about. didn't occur to me. But it didn't. 
Let's use the ladder for once. Instead of the not ladder. The ladder doesn't go anywhere, does it? Well, that does kind of figure. Can I switch to Sora? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really digging the raincoat guy, but... I'll tell you what, in nine days, when Sora comes out, I'll switch to Sora. We managed to find a way to make it a bigger drop. Before we jumped off, we climbed higher. Just to mix it up, I'm going to push off the other box this time. It's going to be great. You're not going to believe your eyes. Can, can I not push it? You're not going to make me a liar in front of my whole stream, are you? Are you, Raincoat Child? You wouldn't do that to me, would you? Would you do that to me? Would, would you, would you do that to me? Would, would you? He would. He would make me a liar. I gotta stop saying he. I don't know why I'm making that assumption. is because I assumed that was a checkpoint but I haven't been respawning here so I guess it's not I believe Master Chief I know Doom Guy I'm not sure if Master Chief did but Doom Guy is being added as a me costume and I think Master Chief might have already been? I'm not sure. Oh my god. It occurred to me to do that, but it didn't occur to me to then do this. Streamers are smart. Sora and Doom, okay? So has Master Chief been added as a costume, or is he still out in space somewhere? When he went to paying off Sora and Sephiroth's trailers. I know Doom Guy got a, is getting a costume that comes out on Sora's day. And so Doom Guy can finally be with Isabelle. That, that is one thing people were posting that, like, I didn't think of. You could have Doom Guy and Isabel be a team against fucking, I don't know, Sora and Cloud. Hell, with 8-Way Smash, you could get a lot crazier than that as well. Yeah, it's very nice. That, that is one of my more favorite memes, the idea that Doom and Animal Crossing came out on the same day. So are the people fighting over which game is better? No, they're just making art combining the two. Like that's, that's what you want out of your memers. Yes, yeah, Steve would have to be like, like I was talking about this on Twitter yesterday, like what would be the, 
the craziest matchup of characters. It would have to be eight ways so you can have eight characters. Steve would definitely be one of them, 100%. Probably Sora. I'm not sure who else. Can't reach higher. So do I have to like pull the lever and then get onto here as quick as I can? Fell to my death. Thank you for ca catching that because I actually did not. No! Oh my God. Okay. Josie, Steve, Sephiroth, Sora. All right, who, who's the other four? Because you can get eight characters. Doesn't have to be all DLC either. Any any characters in the game that are just like, what the fuck are you guys doing next to each other? a dangerous thing by making me lose a lot of times in the same spot because what happens when you make somebody lose a lot of times in the same spot is they start just fucking speedrunning it and this game is not going to be very spooky if I just start speedrunning it whether I am successful in doing so or not either way this game is not going to be spooky if I start just plowing through it at light speed but it's very dangerous to have me keep dying here over and over. Just, oh, I, I forgot to include the reasoning. They speedrun it because they get bored. You're gonna, you're gonna make me get really bored and frustrated. Bayonetta, Kirby, Terry, and Joker. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of clownery. We're not gonna talk about how close that was. Maybe I use this ladder. And then I jump so that I can catch onto the side. No. I could still probably use this ladder to get up though, right? See, this is why you weren't added to Smash. I'm gonna stop talking about Smash. <laughs> How is that not something you can climb up? There we go. It feels like I'm supposed to flip the switch. Maybe just flip it like to the middle even. something. That's what it is. That's what it is. Mario, Luigi, Terry, Ken, Sephiroth, Sora, Joker, Cloud. Just like a Mario Brothers meets anime matchup. right the first time. I just wasn't quiet enough of a gamer to make it happen. I swear to God. Okay, right, I'm supposed to climb up this. I'm supposed to climb up this. I'm supposed to climb up that. I think in my matchup I would include either K. Rule or um, 
the Metroid Ridley. Apparently people thought they'd be too big for the game, whatever that means. I am gonna shut up about Smash though, because I want this to be spooky. I have a goldfish brain, so if I promise something, I might forget about it very quickly. I even have an emote for it. Smash, dude, nice. Have you been liking it so far? If, if you have a main yet, who is your main? I, I, um, I'm gonna try to make this spooky though. Can I, can I get you out of there, friend? I can't open the door. Doesn't seem like I can. I don't understand what's up with them. I hope they turn out to be friends, but I'm going to do my best to help them. If I regret it, so be it, but I'm going to do my best to help them. Why does it all have to be nooses? Okay, we, we have been here before, but with the power on. Sure. Yeah, here's the showers. Run. Don't stop the thing. Just move. So now we have to question. Okay, I was about to say. Why did we think it was a good idea to turn the lights out? But, well, there you go. That's why. Shut up and you'll find out, Ferris. Well, Ferris, I need to commentate on something, so how about you get off my back and let me talk? Okay, you know what, Ferris? Fair enough. I guess you kind of do have to talk. Sometimes. That's what I'm saying, Ferris. I know that's what you're saying, Ferris. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> I wonder how long I can keep that conversation going. This game is really getting to Ferris. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. Why, why are things tipping? Are we on a boat? Are we on a boat? Is that... Has, has that been the case the entire time? We're just on a boat. Well, I kind of thought you were going to fuck off at that point, if I'm being completely honest. I kind of thought... You were gonna give me, you were gonna back off a little bit, a little bit, but you know what? Do I have a reason for thinking that? Probably not. Oh my god, I can't make it to the trash can, but I can make it here. It seemed like maybe we were like, I don't know, like trying to get out of like an orphanage or something. It's kind of unclear. This absolutely makes me think we're on some 
sort of boat. achievement called the prison so so that's the thing Since I hugged one of them, I do not have the capacity to be afraid of them. So I'm just like, oh hey, what's up? Anything in these drawers, perhaps? Oh, I can climb up them, that's neat. That makes me think that I don't need the chair here. actually need it somewhere else before I bother. That's not, that looks very inviting to me. Let's just go in. It's, okay, it's, wait. see much, but it doesn't look like I'm not high enough for it. You know what? Sometimes a room is just a room. Yeah, fair enough. Doesn't really make sense that I'd be able to turn that not in that way anyway. the suitcase light enough that I can pull it. Yeah. Uh, they do a really good job of making this world look like a very normal world while also making you feel just so tiny compared to it. I guess you'd want to strap yourself into the bed if it was on a boat. It looks weird, but I... I think... That just makes sense. I could be wrong, though. That could be, like, some sort of torture device or... Something like that. A lot of these... Pictures as well. I think the weirdest thing is that as weird as it looks, I, I don't really mind it. They look, they look 
really weird, but they kind of just look fine at the same time. Well, I am sorry, doll. Oh, that's what we are here for. Oh, was that key there before? Yep, I should be more careful. It's the kind of thing where like right as I was jumping, it occurred to me that maybe that's not a good idea. Can I not climb up that? Okay, if you say so. What do I want this key for? Seeing if I can make the suitcase shut. That would have been like a hilarious achievement. If you jump up and down on enough times, it just clicks shut, then you get an achievement. I guess I could put the suitcases together. What did this lever do? Oh, that lever let go of the bed. Is there anything else that I need up here? I guess I didn't try going to the right. No, I can't go to the right. I could try continuing to go to the left. Yeah, I, th I think it's, I think I need to go down. Doesn't seem like it goes anywhere different, but I might as well try. A lot of water leaking out there. Something about that water. Something about that leak. Looks familiar. Like, not even from this game. Like, just like eerily familiar. I don't know. That's... I feel like that's a we that's weird for me to even think that. But something about it just looks like I've seen that. And I don't just mean like the concept of something dripping. I mean like... Like it seems so... I don't know. I'm losing track. Um, I don't think this goes anywhere. seem to pull the cork or tip it over. Can I push this? I sure can. Give me that key. Just for you.
啊。Yeah, I can see that puzzle being time-consuming to figure out. Or it's not even a puzzle; it's just a breakup. No, it is a puzzle. We need to get rid of you so you don't make too much noise. You know, we're just in a nightmare, aren't we? I'm trying to figure out where we are. We're literally just in a nightmare. There is no place we're in. Which, based on the title, seems obvious, but... Okay, I can hide in that box if I need. I don't think there was anything that I could climb to. Oh wait, there's a lower bar here. No. Sometimes a room is just a room, but if it's a room that I, like if there's nowhere else for me to go, then there has to be a puzzle. Oh, okay, kind of obvious in retrospect. some dark places about what might have been in that cage that we were eating 
It did not occur to me that we might be the next things in that cage. So that's definitely fucked up, but we're not trapped, so fine. But that's fine for us, it's not fine for the others. Yeah, probably can't make that jump. Got a lantern though. but that seems to be the best I can do to help him for now. to help them? Can I hide the cage so that the person will overlook them? because that kind of ruins it. I cannot. Well, that's fine.
need to do now. That fucking thing, Jesus. Okay, it's based on smell, not on sound. Piece of shit. Like he just senses you. I guess giving him a hug is all it really wants. Like the game really wants. You you found them and you hooked him. I guess that's it. God, it really makes me want to help. I guess you just are in a situation where it's hopeless. That's a lot of shoes. That's a that's just a whole lot. You don't want an answer to that question. You want to ask it, but you don't want to know. You don't want to know what the fuck that is. You just, you just want to be able to go on with your life not knowing. Well, wish granted. We're, we're moving. We're just moving. That's what I decided. We're just going. We're going. We're going. We're going.
Wait, hold on. Something's... Shit. Something's in here, isn't there? you. So I don't think I can sneak by him. I think I'll just have to sprint by him. I don't know if it's deaf. I think it's blind. It has good smell. I don't know if it can hear. <laughs> So it's so much bigger than you, but at the same time, like, he's incredibly short, but he feels giant, especially with the long limbs. Oh, I know what to do. Yeah, it's not deaf. And you take advantage of that. Or not. I do gotta be honest, the fact that it doesn't seem to detect you based on smell or sound, and it just seems to detect you based on video game, I'm not a fan of that. It just like... It can't smell you when you're in the other room unless the game wants it to smell you when you're in the other room, in which case it will. Like, it's... His senses are a little convenient. Hey, Dark, what's up, man? Hurt me, didn't it? Even on 
not making any noise. Because he just has bullshit sense. People like you and me, we can taste and hear and see. He just possesses bullshit, of which is a sense. Yeah, he, ju he just quote unquote smelled me. Not, not because I'm within his range. But because he's because I'm in a spot that he doesn't want me to be in. That's the only reason that he can smell me. I'm, I'm getting a little salty, lads. I'm getting a little salty. I'm starting to notice a trend where when I play a scary game, at best, I'm scared at the beginning, but I always transition into just salt. Into just salt. And it seems to happen with scary games the most. Where instead of like, oh god, this monster is going to find me, I'm just saying to myself, you know what? It's kind of bullshit. <laughs> kind of don't think I should have got found there, hmm? Did he smell me? He smelled me. He, he, he smelled me. He smelled me. You're not going to grab me, right? Because you can't smell me anymore? No, you can smell me now. I can smell you. Can you, can you just, can you just, can you just? I think he looks really weird and really cool. I'm not a fan of his bullshit alarm though. I'm not a fan of the fact that his nose can only smell nonsense. And also his nose can hear. But it can only hear nonsense as well. I don't fucking know, man. I'll just fucking... Just fucking... Give me one more shot at this. And then I'll run to the right side of the room and try to grab the shell. See the new Nickelodeon fighting game? I gotta stop talking about this because I'm trying to keep things spooky, but did you see it? If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'm because I'm not memeing, it's actually pretty good. As much as it as much as it's always gonna sound like a meme. It's like Smash, but in terms of like visual and audio polish, it's not as good. But in terms of the mechanics, it actually seems like it might be better. Uh, like it, it's low budget, but it's made by people who really know what they're doing. And it's very well done, and its net code is very good. Uh, I didn't know what that meant until like a month ago. So just in case you don't know what it means, it just means even when it's laggy, it doesn't feel like it's laggy. It's always very good. 
so I've been really liking it. And it's on Steam, and it's on sale. For like today and tomorrow. And maybe the next day, but I'm not sure. This seems like a really bad idea to mess with this. That's... I don't even have anything to say about that piano. That piano knows what it's doing. The piano doesn't need to be told of its sins. I do like that sometimes you light candles and sometimes you light lanterns. You know what? I, I like that a lot of them, a lot of the stuff in this game is like it's in. Oh god, this is gonna be noisy. It's intuitive enough that you can just figure out what you need to do on your own while still being cryptic enough that it's like, I think I'm doing the right thing. I don't actually know why I'm lighting those candles, but I think so. You still got your eyes on Guilty Gear? Hell yeah, I love, I love Strive as well. Tekken 7 has been a blast so far, nice. Tekken 7 is something that's like, I hope one day to understand fighting games well enough that I can go on to Tekken 7 and not have a panic attack. <laughs> You know what I mean? Tekken 7 is like... Like, like it, it's like my goal is to one day understand this genre in that way. But so far, Strive has just been a blast. Hello. Yeah, you're a blind fuck, aren't you? No, I, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that part. I, sh I, should, have, I shouldn't have said that part. The part where I taunted him. I shouldn't have said that part. I should have just accepted the fact that he can't see me and not been a dumb asshole about it. Now, what if I were to... I was going to say run, but then I didn't see any path to run. And so then I got confused as to what the fuck I should do. Oh, my dear God. Set your books on fire. Oh my god. I was gonna light the candle. I was just joking about the books part. But yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. I, I probably won't know the character's name, but just for like when I see it later, what uh like have you found a main yet? If you don't mind, could you just DM me the name of that game? Because I know I'm going to forget, but if I have a DM, then I'll see the DM later. And then I won't forget. Now, monkey, I'm going to ask that you not be a shithead about this. Thank you, monkey. Duck. That's just makes me think of Hugh Neutron right off the bat. We're just gonna be real careful with all of our things. I don't even know if he hears, but we're not gonna make any noise just in case he does. He does have that thing Alien Isolation does, though. He has this thing Alien Isolation has where even when the monster is not able to track you, it very conveniently just happens to decide to hang out wherever you are nearby, even if it has no idea where you are. It has that mechanic, which I really enjoyed in Alien Isolation. It was very fun. I really appreciated it. Why do, why do spooky games piss me off more than they scare me? Like, I thought I was a coward with these games, and then I played Five Nights at Freddy's, and then I like I found out that it wasn't as scary as I was making it out to be. Like it was just I was imagining that it was scary, but it wasn't really scary. 
and then I found out that it pisses me off, and now I'm finding out that it consistently pisses me off. And I don't, I don't understand where this arc is going, but for some reason, scary makes me angry. Can I not? Turn it on? That was a good decision. Also, in my experience, in a scary game, when you die over and over, it just makes you not have as much fear of dying because it sort of teaches you that it's not a big deal. I, I, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but personally, if I was going to make a game like this, I would try to not have any one area have death after death like this because I kind of don't give a shit if he catches me now. You know, what, you know what I mean? I get that this is good, but I don't think I can carry this outside with me right now. King, Lucky Chloe, Kazumi, Katarina, maybe Steve. Frustration replaces fear. Absolutely. Like I was saying earlier, it's like in Dark Souls, if you lose against a boss over and over, and there's a long path between your spawn point and the boss, all of the enemies in between you and the boss, you don't give a shit about. You're just going to run past them. Who cares? You fought them a thousand times. You don't want the player to act like that in your spooky game. I don't think I can make anything out of this. Can I go anywhere or do anything? I can't go up there because there is a hat there. I can't step on the hat. That would be rude. Are you for... Is that... Can, really? I can't jump up there because there's a hat. Okay. You know what? If I turn on the TV, he comes in, and that probably opens the fucking door, doesn't it? That probably just literally opens the door, and it's as simple as fucking that. I don't know what they do, but I know I don't want to get to the end of the game and for it to be like, oh man, if you lit one more candle, oh, that would be the, the big ultra secret ending. But because you didn't, fuck you. Can I climb down? Not in the way that I was hoping. He sure is blind. He sh he's sh one thing he sure is. It's definitely blind. 
I'm not going to draw because he does not seem to be deaf and I'm pretty sure that me hitting the ground is going to be like a microwave going off at 3 a.m. Which is to say a hundred times louder than anything ever should be. Are you really just going to alien isolation me? You're really just going to alien isolation me and just hang out there for no reason. Okay, we're just going to light the candle. Okay. I'm not going to peel the wallpaper. I'm going Oh my god. Oh my god. His bullshit sensor is very frustrating. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like get it out of my game. That's right, this is my game. This is my game now. I'm gonna die now. Shit, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna follow me here. So eat shit, buddy boy, Palerino. I'll see you when you magically respawn in the next room. He, he notices you when you get out of crouch walk. See, that's what I thought too. And then I tried to crouch walk past him and he still just hurt me anyway. And so that, that as a player, that taught me, fuck it. You know what I mean? That's all that taught me. It just taught me, fuck it. Just, just fuck it. Can I? Can I? Can I? A little bit too high, a little bit too high. Okay. Oh. Okay. I didn't notice, notice this was a fucking minecart when I landed on it. Boat is even tipping in that direction, buddy boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want to weigh it down. Like by hanging on the side here. But like on the front. Like that. Is that... Is that going to do what I want? Not even slightly. Not even slightly. Can I throw a book into the gears? I cannot pick things up in this room. Because fuck you, that's why. Game. Game, what do I do? Game, what do I do? Do I drop down here? No, I don't do that. I don't do that one. I don't think so. I don't think so, Tim. I gotta stop referencing things that weren't even memes in the first place and stopped being relevant 35 years ago. I gotta stop doing that. I, I, I also gotta find out what happens if I do this. Okay. I didn't really expect anything else to happen, but I needed to find out. But it's it's still it still kind of caught me off guard. Partly the fact that it was kind of cartoony how he just ragged all that. Can I climb up there? What the fuck! I cannot escape. I soft locked? Okay, there we go. I thought I was fucking pinned there. Okay, if the answer I, I actually we would be fine with an answer in this situation. Does anybody know what I'm supposed to do? If you don't, that's fine. Backseating thing is mostly just like, like if I ask for advice, that's obviously fine, but just not if I don't, but yeah. I don't know, because it feels like you're just supposed to move this. 
What's that? Like, can I just push it? No? You also get occasionally trapped. That's what I thought. I'll, I'll try holding it down. Maybe I can just keep inching it along. Because, like, the boat is rocking back and forth, and it seems I can pull it a little bit when it tilts to the right. It's going to be very slow if I only get that much at a time, though. guys bullshit detector is nuts this guy does not have any sort of sense at all except for Canadian video game nonsense that is the only sense oh my god oh my god I didn't slide Cause it looked like it was tall enough that you could just like sort of duck your head a little bit. But that's that's enough. Dude, just just come on, just eat shit. Just eat shit a little bit. Just but you're gonna lose your arms, pal. Is he gonna lose his arms? That are you for real? Uh, move, move, move. Oh, hey, look at the bullshit. Look at how he suddenly knows which direction to reach. Oh, isn't that convenient? his fucking arms. Please say that's what happens. That'd be pretty neat. 
if the, if the door slammed shut after a few seconds. Hello? Video game? Anything? Is anything gonna happen? Hello? You have to do something? Well... I mean, like, do I pull the cage? Good. I'm gonna try pulling the cage. I'm also... I'm having a bit of a time. I'm having a bit of a time. Not a lot stands out to me as something that I could do anything with or to. I thought I was supposed to just stall, but that doesn't seem to be the case. The hatch on the wall, I can't grab. I can try pulling the cage again. Exactly. Do you fucking want me to do? Okay, the thing I did five times and didn't work. That's great. That's great. So I'm gonna do that again with these other ones. Do it, do it. Okay, he doesn't want to. That's on me for asking a character to do something that they didn't do. Do it, please. Again, this does not make me scared of him. This makes me angry, and this makes me understand that there is absolutely no consequence to death at all. That makes me much, much, much less scared. Please stop pissing your your players off in horror games. Petition by Ferris. Also, I'm not seeing an alert, but on my screen, you just like suddenly got the sub badge. Did you like just sub and it's not saying anything? Like oh hell yeah! Eat shit, asshole. Hope your arms can't grow back, you lizard man, piece of shit. Oh, delicious screams. Delicious screams of a dumb, cock-sucking asshole. Love it. Do I sound like how I sound in a, uh, a horror game right now? Probably not. I probably sound a little more frustrated. I probably sound like I'm playing Getting Over It or something like that, don't I? Probably a little bit. Oh, you didn't choose the notification option. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, man. I have the, uh, I have the alert box turned off so that Mario doesn't interrupt the spooky feel with silliness. Uh, so I wasn't sure if that like muted this the notification or something. What now? What is this? Why did I respawn? What? But thank you, man. I'm not even going to find out what's in the rest of the room. I'm just going to grab one of these hooks. Never mind, I can't. Oh, I don't want to know. Do not want to know. Do not want... things happen.
I, I really did not hold the A key for that long. I really didn't. I really, I really didn't. I, I truly did not do that. The decision to jump was not mine. Okay, so I need to go over on this and I need to climb up onto it. But I need to not jump in the process. about to happen as much as I can. Yeah. There, there's got to be another way than that. There's got to be another way than that. There's got to be another option. There's not another option. fucked. No, no way around that. That's pretty fucked. Oh, and these are body bags. Good. I'm glad we got to climb over that afterwards. That's, that's delightful. The rat thing was fucked, but that's just fun and happy. Sure was a thing you chose to say, Dark. That sure. <laughs> that sure was a thing you chose to say. Wow, that that it's like it's like this kind of spicy food where you eat it and it's like oh spicy, and then like ten seconds later it's like. Oh no no no! There it is. No, there's there's the spice. It, it's it's like like I really had to I really had to taste it before I felt just how much I hated that. <laughs> Took a minute to decide. All right, what what's your deal? Do you have bullshit sense? Pillsbury Doughboy. This is Pillsbury Doughboy in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Prove me wrong. Gear sure, yeah. 
Yeah, I got this. I got this so many years ago, man. I think only like, I think there's probably only like a Gears One and Two or something like that. I miss playing Gears with y'all. Those are some good memories. Okay, I meant to open that, but you know, as the saying goes, go off, I guess. Oh, run little guy, I don't want to get you in trouble. Good little friend. Uh, so we need a key. I didn't <gasps> notice one, but that's what we need to find. Part of me thought he was going to reach through the cabinet and grab me on the other side. And I was like, getting preemptively angry at the idea that that might happen. But you can't, you can't do shit. Could give a fuck, Pillsbury Doughboy. Wish you could bring your doughy ass up here and get me. Yeah, fucking doubt it. How about that? Boom, smashing your crap, dumbass. Turning to the Skyrim TF2. Boom, there goes your crap, dumbass. Here's a recipe. My ass. <laughs> anyway. They should do a Gears Remastered Collection. That. Yes. The things that you have said are, in fact, uh, facts. They are correct opinions. We did not find a key. That makes me think either sometimes a room is a room, or we're gonna come back. Hopefully sometimes a room is a room. Okay, we can't grab that door. Hello, friend. I'm gonna go with you before I pull the big scary lever. Just in case pulling the big scary lever would be bad for all of us. sense is very strong in this game. <laughs> I've tried not to be too salty, but if I'm being real with y'all, I really don't like bullshit sense. I'm really not happy with all of the bullshit sense going on. Eat shit. Continue to eat shit. I'm too high up, and I know that now. I know that you can't catch me up here. And so I no longer have fear. Eat shit. Breaking all your shit. What are you gonna do about it, asshole? Anything? It doesn't seem likely that the answer is anything. Can I shimmy? I cannot shimmy. Is there a point to me being here, then? There's no point to me being here. Good. I broke things simply because I wanted to break things, and for no other reason, I guess? I guess? Can I just grab the key? Could I have just done that the whole time? Probably yes. Well, I broke his shit, and that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. I like breaking his shit specifically. Am I gonna run directly into him? sense, but I'm going to try to shut up about sense. You know, the theme is that we're in a nightmare, so why do I care that it doesn't make sense, really? Ooh, that felt weird. That felt more like the building was moving rather than moving. That was a strange... 
sensation. This is just the kitchen again. However, friend? You okay? Oh. Give a hug. Give a hug to a friend. I ran out because I thought to myself, oh god, don't let my friend get caught. Well, that was not apparently what I was supposed to be worried about in that particular moment. You can't open that? You can't open that. That... I can accept if, there, if the reason is silly. But I would at least like a reason. You know what I mean? I would, I would like you to provide with me a reason. Why can't you open that? Instead of just, no, fuck you, go away. But you know what? I'm just gonna have to take what I got. What? Do you think you're hot shit? Do you think in this moment you're hot shit? In this moment, you're refrigerated. Well, I hope my friends get out alive. Opening this door should probably help, right? Um, but I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna un leave the door unlocked but shut. I cannot shut the door. Okay. The game is really telling me no fuck you, quite a lot. Like really often, it's telling me no fuck you, and I'm not the, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't know how you how I don't know how you all feel about being told no fuck you. I'm not a huge fan of it. Just gonna climb into the dumbwaiter, which is a very bizarre name for this device, but that is actually what it's called, a dumbwaiter. Okay, clearly I just need to put more weight onto that trapdoor. Like, I, like, at that point, I played a video game. I can tell what that is. Is this a giant finger? I thought it was just meat. Now I think it's, like, a fingertip. I don't like that. Can I grab it? Thank you. I do not want to pull it on there. I want to push it. Because I do not want to stand on that when it opens. I'm pretty sure I don't. It's not going to open. objective is, but that works for this sort of game. I will always regret that one doll where I misunderstood and I thought we were supposed to try to not break it. This, I was foolish. It is a doll. Why would a doll need to be preserved? I was foolish. Okay, that's not what I need to do. Do I just... Am I just gonna walk away? I guess I lit a lantern. Is that not... Maybe that's not what you're supposed to do. Huh, I was pretty certain. Unless I just need that extra bit of meat. This is probably the right idea. Realistically, it's probably fine to stand on that, but I don't like the idea. What's that stuff coming off of it?
brujas? Do I just not need to be up here? I guess I just don't need to be up there right now. Oh. Well, I figured it out, I guess. That's a weird idea, but okay. That noise isn't what I think it is, is it? No, I'm imagining things. Never mind. I thought I heard that, like, children's crying sound again, which in the past had always meant that you were about to be very hungry. Okay, that guy actually goes based on vision and sound rather than nonsense. So that guy has a better read from me. get something that I can use to throw at that door button. Unless he's gonna just do it for me. I really don't remember what my last objective was. I guess I'm just... I guess I never really have an objective, I'm just wandering around.
there's a key. That would be the objective. somewhere. That'll do. No, that button will do. That'll be a lot more noise. the game. It's a very spooky. And I'm going to try not to say this too much because I don't want it to get annoying, but yeah, not not scared of him anymore. Just 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 angry. No emotions about him other than frustration and anger. I don't I don't feel any tension anymore. I'm just pissed. Uh just, you know. I don't know a lot about horror. But that's just whatever feedback I can give. Oh my god, please. Yeah, see, that's about how scary he is. He's, he's, he's a fucking moron. It's about how scary he is. As scary as a moron. Oh my fucking god. Just fuck off. I'm hidden. Go fuck yourself. You can't do anything about it. Leave. Oh my god, he can do something about it, can't he? No, he can't. Eat shit. That's something he could potentially do. He could potentially eat shit. He has my permission. But just, yeah, just push the decides to go into there. <laughs> that would be what he would do, huh? That would be what he would do. He would go into the room that I clearly need to go into. Because he's suddenly no longer busy in the kitchen. Of course. Wait a second. 
course, I can't pull the lever down anymore. Can I get in? Okay, that's not alerting him anymore. But maybe there'd be something up here we would need. Right? I could pick up, like, meats and things. I guess I just have to go down there, but I don't know how to open the door. Um, I'm not seeing anything I need though, so I'll have to figure it out down here. That's not the guy, right? That's not the guy clipping through a wall, is it? Oh. Do I want to be here? This seems to stand out. Of course, that just leads to the room that he went into, but just in a different way. Of course. Of course. I have no reason to leave. I don't need to. What the fuck? Nice dish job, pal. That's blocked off. Okay. So I can see, but I can't come out anywhere I want. Have been the wind. It must have been. The wind loves cracking eggshells all the time. Oh my god. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. That's pills. Oh my fucking god. I just have to go AFK again. You're not scary. But I take it back. That's Pillsbury Doughboy from Bloodborne. That's who that is. Fuck off. You're not scary. I know you can't kill me. 
So just fuck off. Just fuck off. There's even a little bit of footprints that lead right to me. But it doesn't matter because you're stupid and useless. I don't have to give a flying fuck about your dumb face. Oh my god. You're very annoying though. Very annoying. Very annoying. But you're not intimidating. Okay, you done? You done gonna go wash dishes now? Asshole. Why are there two of you? The world didn't need even one person that ugly. I'm getting a little, a little too neat at that point, maybe. Oh, where did it go? Must have been the wind, I guess. Must have been. I get that there's hooks there, but I want to get this lantern. Scenes somewhere where the band, they have to run immediately. Doesn't always work, right? If I said cutscene, I meant checkpoint. I'm not sure what I said. Just fuck it. Just fuck it. Just fuck it. Just. Fucking hell! He just wouldn't move. He just completely refused to move. Getting very angry. Getting very angry. No longer give a flying fuck about the setting of the game. Just angry. Just angry and nothing else right now. Furious. Bored. Furious and bored, actually, I would say, is it's been upgraded to now. Furious and bored. <laughs> trial and error, but you're just punished for error. And you're punished by just having to do it again. So it's just very frustrating. Very cool setting. For me, it's kind of being ruined by the game mechanics. Very frustrating game mechanics. But, whatever. Apparently, I... So I got an achievement called The Kitchen. Okay. We got out of the kitchen. Okay. Hopefully I will be less angry in this next area, wherever it is. Is that a hole? That sure is. Hey, buddy. Oh, I got an achievement called Light Up Your Life. Not all lights can be trusted. 
but these should be quite safe. Huh. Hello, friend. Time for your hug. Alright, you have had a hug. You have a lit lantern. I Can I open the door for you as well? Maybe? No? No. Alright, I guess that's it. I guess... I guess goodbye forever. though, so I assume this is like a cruise. Jesus Christ, if this is a cruise. By the way, not to distract from the game, but I, I probably could use a little bit of a distraction just because of my frustration. Uh, if you are still here, Dark, did you hear about the new uh, Smash character? Do you have any thoughts? I, I know you don't have the game yet, but I'm still curious to know what you think about it. I'm not sure if you played that uh, game they came from yet or not. Okay, suddenly we're getting some context about where we are. I, I, I think this is Chinese stuff, right? Get up, plates. That sucks. Mm -hmm. 
pretty sure they're trying to grab you because they want to eat you. Sora, and yeah, I, I've never played Kingdom Hearts. I didn't know if you had or not, though. <laughs> There's no more wondering. I, I hate... I personally hate every single person here. And in fact, you know what? I apologize for using the word person. Oh, is it candle? Uh, I don't want to light that candle. are essentially right here next to my mouth, and partly because it's nighttime and I don't want my neighbors to hear me. Those are the reasons that I am being the volume I am right now. I am livid at this fucking game. I think the setting is very spooky. I think a lot of the visuals are very spooky. I do not enjoy the gameplay. And it's taking a good bit of energy not to fucking scream at it. Holy shit, let me get through this fucking area. Maybe that's just a bait. Maybe, maybe that's just a big middle finger to the player, and you're not supposed to light it. But I'm going to try one more time. Are you for real? You can do this and it doesn't matter. You can do that, but it doesn't matter because you can't climb through. Can I do this? Is that a shortcut? That's a shortcut for the very fucking least. This game. Fuck this game. deaths before I just decide fuck it. Is there like another route? Like, what the fuck? Is this, like... 
is is it supposed to be like am i just stupid is it supposed to make it scarier and scarier the more you die because if that's not the intention why would you make it so fucking precise this is the final act of the game good because I'm about 10 minutes away from uninstalling this. Which sucks, because I think a lot of the stuff about this game is really good. But just... Fuck. The gameplay is getting to so maybe that's it. Maybe I just have to aggro one and have them miss, and then they get discouraged. That's what it is. That's what it is. I just have to accept the fact that they're... <coughs> really short-term memory, and they give up. Games like this that led us to playing Gears of War as like teenagers, because you need to play a game where you to get just get just you just get to beat the shit out of somebody. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just need to play a game where you just kind of beat the shit out of somebody. That's why we liked Gears. You stop that, you little fucking dude. What? You want to try again? You want to try again, dumbass? Eh? Eh, dumbass? Eh? Eh, cut? Eh? Shit. But you're not gonna eat me. Well, actually, probably already. Because I can't play this game for shit. No. 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 Now we go over here. <laughs> it would help if I could play on the controller, but it, it, the game doesn't work with my controller, so I have to use keyboard and mouse, which isn't that precise with the movement. Which is partly why I wish. They would fucking relax it. Am I doing the wrong thing, by the way? Is there just like a much easier way to do this? And I'm just making life hard for myself unnecessarily. I suddenly want to light the candle. I don't know why I suddenly decided, you know what, I just want to go for it. I don't know why. I don't know why. It paid off but I don't know why I suddenly had that issue. Fair enough. Have a good night, man. Thanks for coming by. Don't care. So, I'm pretty sure I asked this question earlier. Maybe it was with different phrasing, but to some extent I asked this question earlier. If the game just fucking hates me and just, is just giving me the middle finger, yes. Yes. That is, in fact, the game design philosophy. Fuck me. Was the game was the game design philosophy saying you have to go to the, like like you have to just run quickly? Yeah, you can you can just eat shit. You can eat shit. My dude. This guy might eat me, but you're not. You're gonna eat shit. That's what you're gonna eat, asshole. Asshole. 
Okay, please, for the love of God, say I either hit a checkpoint or I'm about to hit a checkpoint. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind if I have to do that again. So, good news was, we did light the candle, so we're good. And in fact, it looks like we might have gotten through it, so that's good news too. I'm very angry. But I suppose there is a lot of good news at the very fucking place. There's a lot of good news. Do I pull the chair out? I climb over this, don't I? I should have had my lighter out and I would have been able to see that I couldn't. Where's the checkpoint? Good. Okay, thank you. For God's sake. No. 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 <laughs> no. dumb fucking head now, right? That's what it is. You're just so fucking dumb. You're so fucking dumb that I can just go past you and fucking creep. That's what it fucking is. Confirmed that the devs do strongly believe that the more you die, the scarier it is because they are just increasing the difficulty as it goes on. And holy crap, dude! And I, I feel I feel bad like complaining so much because it, there is a lot of parts, a lot of stuff in this game that is really good and really well done. I'm just real fucking angry, and I I feel bad because I I don't want to just shit on this because this is a good game, but. Fuck, it could have been a good game without making me this angry. But why, why would there be, you know what, we're just not gonna ask the question I was gonna ask there. That's what we're gonna do. Do I break the mirror? Do I, do I, but do I break the mirror though? I do break the mirror. I'm glad the previous throws got me used to the idea that you throw a very short distance until there is something to hit, at which point you could become much stronger. I'm not even trying to complain about that. Oh man, I'm getting, oh man, I'm getting tilted. But that's fine, that's fine. Oh. It's a one-way mirror in a bathroom with a chair on the other side. I was angry enough that I didn't think about it. I just broke the mirror and went through without really considering why there would be any of that in there. And then I considered it. I 
can't say that considering it was my favorite choice. So as far as we know, I saw one doll that I missed. I don't know if I missed any other time. going to do our best. We're not going to be a completionist about it. But I am going to do my best. Please say they fall. Please say they fall. No, they just give up. Okay. Jesus Christ, the game has done a really good job of making me just fucking viscerally hate those creatures. And not even just because I've been dying, but just looking at them and just how much they want to chase you. And oh my god, we're hungry again. Oh my god, we're turning into them. That's what this is. That's what this is. We are turning into them by getting a taste for human flesh. That's what this is, isn't it? Well, no, I guess we did eat a rat one time. We're not unnecessarily eating people. Oh my god. Oh, what a little sausage. Offering you food, literally, why? Might as well end the game because I no longer want to see this creature live. So you might as well end the game here. Because I don't give a fuck anymore. God fucking damn it. Yeah, they, they knew how to make me like those creatures. And they had a reason why they made me like those creatures. guest area.
I c I would be horrified, but still invested in my character's safety if it was necessary. But because it was literally offering you food, I am just fucking... I am I am so angry. I am I am livid. <laughs> Not even at the mechanics anymore. I am livid at this character. I am livid at the game. I am just so fucking angry right now. Holy crap. <laughs> that pot look to Legend of Zelda for it to not be broken. we're breaking the doll that sounds like a really good idea for us to stay here and do that see what's behind that picture or on that picture no it looks like I cannot only the one picture is draped over so I bet it's that woman there just running. So the chef wants me to, like, cook me. 
guests want me to eat me. I'm not sure what the first guy wanted. Maybe he also wanted to eat me, or maybe he would just thought I was a rat or something. I don't know what the fuck this person wants. see any mirror that isn't broken this is a mirror that isn't broken is it? I was about, just about to say if I see any mirror that isn't broken well actually I was going to say I should break it but if she breaks all her mirrors then this could be a weapon against her couldn't it she doesn't want to see herself does she breaking it. No. Okay. So I must just have to put this somewhere in particular. Like replace a broken mirror with it or something. yet I might ask for help in pretty soon not just yet though Oh, I have to stay in, in the light. That would be it, isn't it? And I have to find the new source of light. ASAP. Okay. And then just look at her when she appears. fucking eat her. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking... What do you mean we're gonna eat her? What do you fucking mean we're gonna eat her? What? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, just go ahead. Fuck it. 
beater. Just fuck it. Just fuck it. Just fucking why not at this point? just became her, didn't we? Oh my god, this is her nightmare the whole time, isn't it? Oh my god. Good shit, my dude. You made me really want this. You made me really want this. didn't get the true ending because I didn't break all of the dolls and maybe I might have even missed some candles. However, the ending where we get to go through the, the fucking cafeteria and break the necks of every motherfucker around, that's a pretty good ending. That's a pretty good ending. I'm happy with that. There's only one ending? Nice. Oh, there's DLC. Oh my god. How long's the DLC? Because I, I wasn't expecting this to be a one and done. I, I thought this might be like a few stream series, but it looks like we got it all ni nicely into one stream. Uh, if the DLC is like 
lightning fast, like 20 minutes will do it. If it's longer than that, there's multiple. Okay, I think that might be good for another stream. If you guys are into this, I can just come back. Uh, I think next Friday we'll probably do some sort of fighting game. And next Saturday we'll do more Halloween stuff like we did this week. I might just come back to this next Saturday and bang out the DLC. Holy shit. So despite I despite my anger, I did get very angry. There are, there are some things about that game that just very much. Ugh. Uh, however, like the visuals, the audio, like the ideas behind it, all the little details, like the, the the pictures of these creatures, and then you see these creatures how much you learn versus how much you're in the dark like it was it was quite an experience this was a really good game it fucking pissed me off but this was a good game and i i think maybe this is just me and maybe i'm taking the wrong interpretation from maybe i'm taking the wrong interpretation from it because i'm getting too salty but how fucking much they made me hate these things based on what they did, based on how they look and sound, and based on how many times I died. Really made it nice. Really, really made it nice to just go through and just look at each one, cracking their necks in the process. Really satisfying. So it, it, might, it might have been that they wanted to piss me off, in which case, fine. Yeah, and there's so many little things about it. Like, I, there are some rooms that seem to be pointless. You can light all the candles and lanterns, but it doesn't seem that you need to. Like, it doesn't seem like they're bound to checkpoints. Uh, I got the achievement. The only achievement I got for lighting candles, I got before I lit the last one. So, either I didn't light them all, or you get the achievement even before you finish them. Like, so it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't know if that mattered. I don't know if it matters that I'm lighting these candles. I don't know if it matters that I'm smashing these dolls. I don't know if it matters that I'm hugging these creatures. And for the game that it was making, that was really good. The idea that I have no idea what the fuck is going on. And it's like, I think I'm doing the right thing, but I don't know. Like, that that was pretty fucking good like that added this like it's powerful but it's also just confusing and that was really good <sighs> jeez that was that really just like especially with how suddenly it ends it really just does just leave you with like a lot of questions and a lot of weird feelings and just that's yours now you have all these weird feelings. Goodbye. Have a good day now. Like, you you don't get any closure. <laughs> I don't even know, like, did we help any of those creatures? Did the creatures want help? Was I planning on eating them all along? Or what happened? Because you could say, like, it's desperation from food. But no, they, they were feeding you. You weren't desperate. You had food right there. And even if the sausage is made of, like, human it's not like eating that creature alive is any worse, or is any better. At least the sausage was already dead. That thing you ate was not. I'd say that makes it worse right there. God. That was a weird experience, but I'm, I'm glad to have had the experience, and I'm glad that I, I played it and streamed it. I, I hope it was interesting for you guys, too. Um, and yeah, it's it's always weird when I get those games that like I expect it's gonna be a series and we're done in one stream of just that was little nightmares. Jeez. I don't know if I'm gonna play the second one or not. I think I will straight away put it on my wish list, but I will probably wait until it's real cheap. Just because, like, regardless of how good the game was, it was very short, so I wouldn't want to spend a lot of money on it. Um, but I'll put it on my wish list, and if it ever gets really cheap, I'll pick it up. And um, I, I don't think I'm likely to play it for this Halloween. But honestly, I think that might be nice for next year. Like, at some point before next October, 
I'll grab it and then we'll play it then. And that's like that's like a long term thing to look forward to. And I'll I'll come up with more stuff for the short term for this October for like next week. Well, next week we'll do DLC. Next week we'll do DLC. Once we're done with this game though, I'll move on to other scary stuff. But then the second game will be next year. Yeah, when it comes to how it looked, how it sounded, the ideas, they they knocked it out of the park. They knocked it out of the park in a weird direction, but they did knock it out of the park. to this. That's the DLC, isn't it? God, I don't think I've ever had a game make me hate the villain that much but then turn around and make me also not like the hero. I don't think I've ever had a game just make me not really have good feelings about, like, anything. Like, the little guys running around, they seem to be good as far as I can tell, but my creature seems to be... Like, if they were bigger, they probably would have been one of the monsters. The only reason they were the hero is because they're small enough that it's hard for them to survive. But if they were bigger, they probably would just be one of the fucking things eating everyone. So, like, <laughs> like I'm walking away, like, I... I I get, yeah, I guess, it, I guess it's like life. There aren't any good guys and bad guys. There are just... There's just... Fuck. There's just... Whatever that was. Jesus Christ. Well... <laughs> ah, let me check one quick thing. There are some achievements I didn't get. Huh. Uh, I'm, I'm not much of a completionist, though. All right. Um, Jesus Christ. So this is a little earlier than I normally end stream, but not by that much. Well, actually, let's see if I even have the DLC.
Oh. That. I would assume that's DLC then. So I, I must just not have bought it yet. Uh, I don't know how much it is. Smash statues. Hugged gnomes. So apparently I missed a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, I will probably try out the DLC next week. I'll try to have a backup plan in case we finish it too quickly. Um, good to hear you enjoyed it, Ninja. Thank you. <sighs> Alright, um... Like I said, it is a little earlier than usual, but I guess... I guess I'll just find somebody to raid. Jesus Christ. So yeah, that that was that was little nightmares, everybody. Thank you for being here with me for that. God, I'm so. I guess I don't really have anything left to say, but it just left me with just such a feeling of just like, fuck, is that really it? Like, not that I'm unsatisfied. I I just mean like with how conflicting it was and how weird it was, the idea that it's just over is just like, fuck. But yeah, it was it was a good game. I, I think in my case, I got it for free. Um, or cheap or something. Glad I played it. It was a powerful experience. Um, thank you guys for being here with me for that. And yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna find somebody we can raid. Hold on, if I set this to windowed, maybe I can make it so we can still hear the music. No? Nope. Well, I tried. Nobody I follow is doing any horror games. Um, I think what might be nice, I'm just gonna find somebody who has a low viewer count in Dead by Daylight. That should be a good raid, a good raid target. Something that's, you're not gonna get spoiled because there's no story, um, but it's still spooky. And we'll get somebody who could use a bit more viewership. Okay, you know what? This is good. considering how salty I've been during this game. This is probably going to paint a certain picture of me. The titles on these streams are pissing me off too much. <laughs> so we're going to raid somebody who's playing the Nicktoon Brawler <laughs> with high viewership because fuck it, fuck it. This guy has one point three thousand viewers and he's playing the Nick fighting game. We're rating him. Because fuck it. <laughs> I... Fuck it. Because fuck it. Because fuck it. We're, we're rating Eduardo Hook. The user... The, this channel has follower or, or subscriber only chat. That's... Okay, well, let's not do that then. Let's go to the next person. Ralph. Ralph is also streaming Nicktoons Fighter. God damn it, I hit a period. I hit a fucking... Okay, whatever. Alright, so it's rating Ralph. Fair enough. Thank you for being here, Ninja. See you next time, man. Okay, so it is going to go out very soon to Ralph, just to go through our usual commands as always. 
uh, the YouTube for VODs and highlights. I'll be getting that updated soon. I'm sorry, it's so behind. It's it's very behind, and I'm going to fix that as soon as I can. Uh, Discord and Twitter. Usual schedule is 6 to 10 p.m. or 6, 6 to 10 p.m. PST on Fridays and Saturdays every week, and we do all sorts of stuff uh, every week. I think I'm planning on mostly doing scary stuff on Saturdays this Halloween, but we might do scary stuff on Fridays too. Um, but yeah. Clay Bomber, hello! I am just ending the stream right now. In fact, the raid is about to go out in like 20 seconds. So I'm sorry for the timing on that. Um, if you would like to see some Nicktoons fighter, we are raiding somebody who is playing that. Um, yeah, good to see you, man. Uh, thank you for coming by. I, I have to be real quick because the raid is about to go out. Thank you all for being here. I can't control the raid. It is about to go out in about seven seconds. It's it's unstoppable at this point. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye. Have a good night, Bob Fortress. Sorry about myself. <laughs>